In my backyard, I've been having an uninvited visitor show up. This is a groundhog, or a woodchuck, that is showing up in my backyard and digging around the tool shed that I have in the backyard. Groundhogs dig tunnels that they burrow into, and when they dig tunnels close to a tool shed, especially near the foundation supports, like in this case, it can be dangerous for the groundhog because it could collapse the shed on top of them, in addition to being an expensive repair. And this groundhog doesn't even seem to be scared of me anymore. I see you! This tells me it's time to try to catch him. And to do that, I'm going to use the Have a Heart 1079 Groundhog All right, Trap. And here is the trap that I just picked up. Let me show you how this is going to work. I'm going to fold this bar back. And we can lift up the door. And then we have this latch piece right here. If we get that up, set that, and then it's set up. And it works by the animal stepping on that plate right there. So let me show you how this is gonna work. So the animal step down here. All right, so we've got my trap. Now I'm gonna try to bait it. I'm gonna pay, try to bait it with peanuts and peanut butter. Now I should have done some research into what groundhogs actually like uh, because I used probably the wrong bait to catch a groundhog. Well, you got a little squirrel instead of the groundhog that I was trying to get. Alright buddy, I'll get you out of there. After freeing the squirrel, I noticed something else. There were actually two groundhogs that we had living underneath that tool shed. So the new plan is going to be to set up the trap again right in front of their hole, but this time bait it with fruits and vegetables. What I have here is some corn, lettuce, and tomato. The groundhog seems very interested in the bait, but very cautious of the trap itself. But about 30 hours later, something happened. All right, I heard some noise coming from the trap. We're gonna see what we got. If it's our groundhog, move him to another location. All right, buddy, I'm gonna find a new home for you. It's okay. To make sure that the groundhog doesn't just instantly come back, you wanna drive 10 miles away and let him out. I found a park where there's a river that should be a good location for him. Hey there, buddy. Oh, don't be scared. Free to go. Look, bud. You can go. Back home, I set up the trap again and loaded it with some fruits and vegetables to see if I could catch the other groundhog. I never saw the other groundhog again after catching his buddy. After a week had gone by without any sightings and no nibbles on the bait, I figured it was safe to go ahead and assess the damage and see what needed to be done. All of the rocks that are piling and flowing out of the bottom of the shed are evidence that the groundhog had been digging and moving the dirt outside of the burrow is digging. And here is one of the entrances he 
dug underneath the shed and tore out some of the latticing. One of the entrances he dug was actually on the side of the shed underneath the lean-to shed that I built on the side. And if I move this floor slate, you'll get a chance to see how big of a burrow this groundhog dug. Groundhogs are known to dig tunnels that can be up to 25 feet long, leading from one burrow to another, and can even dig out little living rooms and dens inside their tunnels. Judging by how far I can stick this stick down this hole, it looks like this tunnel is about three feet deep before it hits the end or maybe makes a turn. The plastic latticing that I put around the shed is clearly not enough to keep the groundhogs out, so I'm going to have to do something a little bit more heavy duty. So I'm going to add some metal wire fencing to cover the area underneath the shed and to go outward so that they can't just dig to go right under it. I'm also going to do my best to fill in the hole from the groundhog's tunnel and then cover up the fencing with some dirt. Okay, so I put down this metal cage wire all the way around the shed now. And as you can see, it comes out underneath, so they can't just dig straight under it. They have to go, if they were going to get back under here, out a ways in order to dig to get back under the shed. And hopefully this is enough to keep them from coming back. So I'm going to fill this back in with some mulch and make it look nice and clean everything up. And at this point it's been over two weeks since I caught the first groundhog and over a week since I've added the metal wiring around the shed and I haven't had any more sightings of any groundhogs since.